Yeah, sorry, it's... I'm a little embarrassed to be even using a dating site, you know? These focus groups are completely anonymous, and just for our benefit. How have you found fine love so far? Honestly, I don't feel like the site gets me. You know, like I feel like I should be getting matched up with profiles that are more, uh, you know, in line with my attractive. Well, uh, while I bring up your profile, uh, why don't you tell me what you wrote in your About Me section? Um, I am a nice guy looking for a girl who is tired of dating assholes. I believe if I hold enough doors open and pretend to be interested in your stories, I can accrue enough points to get a sex prize. And if I don't, I will resent you and your gender. Not much to tell, really. I'm just a hopeless romantic. I can't handle adult relationships, and I'll hold it against you if you're not as attractive to me as the doctor. A good one. I'm really good when you get to know me, if you actually put in the effort. I'm too lazy and scared to address any of the qualities that make me undateable, so I blame my perpetual singleness on shallow women while simultaneously making lists of superficial reasons why I wouldn't date you. <sighs> Probably goes without saying, this isn't my only fedora. And yes, I do own swords. I'm just... Sick of the bullshit, man. I'm ready to find something real. My profile picture? It's from 2003. I've taken my look in some surprising new directions that I think will really bother you. But you won't know that till dinner. With the Syracuse, what up? I'm gonna send you a picture of my dick. Me too, also. The dick thing. Anyway, you wanna see my dick? No. Huh? No. Problem. I think we have all the information we need. You're saying you can just tell what people have left out of their profiles? Anyone can, if they look through all our research and raw data. Read enough statistics and the science, she sings for you. And left out is generous. These people are liars. Nice weather today, huh? Everyone is liars. You're right. I meant terrible weather. You caught me. When people lie in their profiles, the science is compromised. All right, we're gonna address this seriously, because I know that you just went through a breakup, and I know that that's what we're actually talking about when we talk about this. But the science is compromised? It's the sort of thing that an obsessed bad guy says in front of a boardroom before he goes crazy and uses the science to become Green Goblin. I mean it. Yeah, so do I! He's like, the science is compromised! And they're like, this is above your pay grade! And he's like, pumpkin bomb! Why would anyone lie in their profile to science? Okay. I, Max, as a person, ask you, do you litter? How do you answer? Sometimes, if I'm walking down the street and I have an apple, I'm gonna try to... LeBron! But sometimes I make it. And if you miss? Well, if I'm walking down the street, clearly I have somewhere to be. And I accept that. Okay, littering happens sometimes, Pippin! But my point is, do you litter is one of the questions that users have to answer on our site. Now, if you encounter that question on a profile that's supposed to reflect your character, you're not gonna answer honestly because you wanna date the type of person that likes the type of person that doesn't litter. Everyone's profile is an idealized version of themselves. And nobody wants to see their honest profile. Unless. Goblin-y. Josie. What if we took your talent for spotting profile inconsistencies and harnessed it to manipulate the profiles? And write the profiles? Lime Goblin. I guess I could. And oh, we could go in and rewrite. We could form a perfect match. With science. Green Goblin, we got there. LeBron! What's darker than green? Jade? Jade Goblin, is that where we are? Hey. Uh, I was doing some research, and apparently a full 66% of our users either didn't like or didn't see the Garfield movie, or also they didn't fill out that question on our survey. Is that the kind of thing we could learn from? Blake, you sopping possum. My brain prevented me from remembering that you existed because it knows that your presence has a negative effect on me. But when you spoke just now, it broke that mental wall, and now I'm very angry. Sure. I'm going to help Josie beat God. Sure. Science called. He said, isn't it weird that I can dial a phone? I'm an abstract concept. Anyway, you're insane. 100% match is impossible. Impossible is just a word for a thing I haven't tried yet. Everest wasn't scaled until the day it was. Didn't the first guy to do that die? The matches are getting closer. Look, I know you're going through a thing right now, and I'm sorry, but the answer is not more science. You can't hack a person. Oh. This 100% thing is quixotic. You're just gonna drive yourself crazy. Err. 
It can't be done. Oh. Can't it? Shit. You did it. Science did it. No. Couldn't have been science. I was on the phone with science the whole time. He messaged her. What does he say? We can't read it. It's a privacy thing. Ugh, thanks, current president. She messaged him back. Max, say the science works. The science? Say the science works and I am a butt. We're going to scan your brain and add it to our algorithm to automate it on a large scale for everyone. We have to get into abuse of power territory at some point, right? Power abuse is a myth. This is just utilizing power more efficiently. There might be a way to do that. Okay, I didn't want to say his name, but if this is about Derek... Don't sabotage this, Max. This is not about Derek. Nothing's about Derek. There is no Derek. There was never a Derek. Keep hacking. At least we need to change the profiles back. Boom! But science... Oh, the science still works. Yeah, no, fine. I'm a butt. Yeah, I'm cool with it. It's just that the whole... whatever... Human aspect needs to be a part of the science. These people want to be the idealized versions of themselves. We can't take that opportunity away from them. Give people a chance to pretend to be their best selves, and who knows, maybe they'll get there. The fact that people aren't already their idealized versions of themselves is repulsive to me personally, but I respect your decision to avoid doing in what all likelihood is in fact a crime. This still feels like a power loss. I'll be at my gun range. So, why the change of, uh whatever you got instead of a heart. When I made Derek's profile, I used the same, whatever, intuition that I used with these profiles and it made it seem like we were 98%, but didn't account for whoever it was he wants to be. Turns out people need that. It's important. Sounds to me like you're handling this in an uncharacteristically healthy way. Well, you haven't heard the part about how I'm going to program our algorithm to factor in people's inability to represent themselves authentically and calculate exactly how delusional that makes them. This will lead to a watershed. Very impressive, Goblin. Thanks, but. Hey guys, thanks for watching the penultimate and also second episode of this first batch of Ron.com. You can check out the previous episode if you're like, I don't know what's going on. Or you can check out the next episode if you're like, I live one day in the future from now and I already have access to that. But stay tuned for it. If not, it's going to be great and watch the show and we'll keep making more. So thanks for watching. I'm Max. Did I say that? <laughs>